Since we're uh, trying to keep a modern aesthetic to the design, because I want us to work on a modern chair. And this is like this little furniture piece. We can just create a, a bit of a modern table and a modern chair within the pavilion. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a sub D box. We go to our sub D tools. And this will be something we can uh, just keep really simple about. And I want to sketch out just a little bit some of the design idea. So I'm, I'm in the plan now, and I just want to make a chair that's something a little close to 30 by 30. And just measure that. And so uh, let's make sure our units are right. And so this is obviously in feet, so we want to obviously come down and make that inches. I'll divide that by 12. And uh, so we're just sort of small on this scale. <laughs> we're just looking to make this uh, simple chair. And <clears throat> we'll be making something that's about four feet high that people would, you know, sit in and, you know, relax in. And so um, I have, like, some inspiration, but I think I'll just... We'll just sort of wing it with some uh, modern ideas. And so what we could do is just start um, by using our sub D box. And I'm going to tear off my grid. Uh, and I'm just going to really just go sort of naturally. I'm going to go 30 inches by 30 inches. And uh, now we're going to go up. We're going to go up that 48 inches. And I've done it uh, where it's five by five by five. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it with pressing tab, leave it on this this sort of open mode. And I'm going to just go to my selection filter. And that's what you have right here for your sub D. I'm going to set it to faces. So it's already set to faces. And just come over here and just start to take out some of the faces that I'm not really working with. Um, for this task. And in addition to this, I'm going to take out some of the other faces that are not going to be that relevant for this process. And what I can now do actually is I'm trying to just really going to take the edges out. And so the selection filter lets me just choose these particular point, you know, pieces of information in the model. And I'll do the same thing right here. And so this is going to be my base form, um, and it's a little bit lower, but uh, again, we can work on that. Um, so what I'm going to start even to do uh, is to take out uh, even these edges, because I want to keep it like really, really simple. And so what I'll do is I'll start to edit this a little bit for for how the, the points are going to be working. So I'm going to rotate this out. I can do that in my right view. And I just come back a little bit. And then I'll have these these little edges, which I'll just start with the points, come out. But what I want to do now is I want to actually put this entire uh, sub D, um, I want to put it into the um, the middle because we want to use reflect because we're we're going to start working on both sides we want them to you know be a, be aligned together so I'm going to go ahead and uh, sort of turn off the so the selection filter and just select the whole object and I'm going to move it to the origin and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my selection and uh, make sure to click on Reflect the sub D object. I'm gonna uh, choose this object and make it the, the y axis. And I think I'm gonna, like it says, I'm gonna keep this side to it so it's facing this way. So you see the light side and the dark side. This is the, gonna be reflecting this side. And so I could start to pull out some of these and um, go back to my selection filter and just start to articulate this chair.
and you see it's going to be updating on the other side. And I can do the same thing for here, for this side, just sort of bring it out a little bit, even sort of move this out a little bit like that. And don't worry about it being flat, we're going to actually be extruding it soon. And then I'm also going to se select this edge here, that will be coming out, and just let that one move a little bit. And so now I have some of this sort of set here and I actually want to, you would probably like a little more aesthetic and you can of course variate with this to come down a little bit. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, from this from this object, I'll make sure to um, offset this sub D object. And uh, we're just doing it real simple right now. I will save the, the version so we have it saved. Uh, Share model. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to offset this sub D. So offset sub D can be set right here. And what I pretty much want it to go is maybe about six to seven inches. Uh, maybe even to be even more sleek, do about uh, maybe three inches. And it's going the right direction for me. And what I want to do is make sure it's solid. It's going to not do both sides. And uh, yeah, I think the rest of that's fine. And so now we have a reflected sub D chair and I can look at it, how it will look and you see it sort of being sort of sleek there. That looks really nice. Now, one thing about the crease, however, is that maybe people think the crease is maybe too much. I could go ahead and uh, select all the edges um, and uh, actually remove the crease. And so we go ahead and remove the crease for everything. And just want to make sure we're getting that curves edges here. And again, move that crease. Or maybe even with your studio control shift. So we'll for sure make sure we get it all. The select and filter sometimes misses things in that way. Or maybe a uh, our crease command just started. Okay, there we go. You have to do that at the same time. So I can put my sketch geometry away a little bit actually. And change object, uh, or that's my sketch. Put this down. So now we're working on this really flat feature. And so we can do things that, uh, like if you want to, to maybe uh, start having the, the faces uh, come up. And I, I do like the, this regular sort of method of moving things, but I uh, thought we'd like to see another method. It's not gonna move anything like this and coming up and uh, even be pulling like some of the sides in like this. And if I wanna create something like a cushion, I could go ahead and uh, select my area like if I had a cushion, that would sort of be just in this area. And again, you don't have to select the other side. It, it automatically selects that for reflect. And I could go here and I could, and uh, it'll automatically push it all up. And we have that little, little push, cushion set. And I could just uh, select that middle one. If I wanted to maybe do a little depression in. This one should, should come up. And so we have that nice and smooth feeling right there. And so um, that's sort of really nice, sort of getting that base form around. And now let's think about how we sort of situate that up. Um, if, we're, if we're fine with this, I close my selection filter. And what I'll do is uh, now I can actually go back to um, my mirror command. And uh, when I when I click on the mirror, and go ahead and select this. And um, now I can actually uh, 
I can actually click remove existing and reflect. And now we have a fully design. And I'll come up off the floor um, and press move to select filter. Move this up and we're going to turn on ortho, move it up 18 inches or 18 uh, extra inches is selected. And now what I want to do is maybe make a cone leg for this. So it's a truncated cone. I can find that in the standard menu. So this would be just a regular surface. And uh, I'll be using the truncated cone. And I make something that's uh, maybe one inch diameter at the top. If that's not big enough, maybe I'll do uh, 1.5 inch. And uh, I'll be coming down 18 inches. And uh, it sort of went up. But I'll flip it. Um, and this top one, I want it to be about 0.75 inch radius. Let me just rotate that. I'll zoom rotate with this. And we actually do want a little bit of a rotation on both uh, axes. Let me turn off the Set there a little bit and what I'm going to do here is uh, make this actually stretch down a little bit so it goes past the plane and I'm actually going to make a line at sort of zero so I'm actually going to trim it with this line and I will cap it What I'll do now is I'll just mirror that on this axis here, and I'll take these two and mirror these. And what I'll do is I'll pull this, pull these actually just a, a little bit, uh, I'll pull the seat up a little bit. So I want to keep my little 18 inches, that's going to be good. Uh, so maybe I'll just uh, take these and stretch these down just a little bit. Uh, and we can even just hide this as we move these down so they are not being too much. We can even just create a, a line here at 18 so we know where our seat wants to be. Scale this out, come down one inch. And do trim. And do trim all these, and I'll just cap these. And now we're just going to show our chair again, and so we now have a nice bit of chair right there. And so this is a way to get a little modern chair that we can put um, in the living room for our design. And what I do now is I go into material la layers. I just start making furniture layers of uh, sort of legs. Maybe we can use uh, FR for this. Let me set this to a layer. And we can, we can set our chair maybe to just a regular FR fabric. And I haven't done anything sort of unique with it, but that'll be fine for just setting that here. So we have our legs and our uh, the tone layer, and what we will just do is save the file, but we'll also select all this, and we'll click on block or type in block, and we'll just make the base point at zero, it would be like the front of the chair, and just say this is our modern uh, sofa. And so you could just use any of your model, you could have any sort of arrangement that you like. Uh, you press out uh, and uh, drag it, you copy it, arrange it out.